welcome to the Burkhoff. Uh, this was also destroyed uh, after the war. There's quite a lot here. So, in case it's not clear in the video, there's a massive concrete wall. First level's about three meters, three meters again. Disappears into the trees. Uh, obviously, I don't know what's above it yet. There is an information panel over there, so maybe I'll find out. Let's just have a quick explore. starting to crumble a bit but considering how old it is um, a lot of these German bunkers around Europe nobody could destroy them they just, just took, would have needed too much dynamite so they've been left so this is probably better to say partially destroyed I can't see any obvious entrance please It says Burkhoff area on the panel. Just finished exploring here and then I'll uh, pause. Oh my god, it goes on much further. Okay. I don't intend to use it, but there is a door of some sort there. I think somebody's filled in a hole with the door. Let's quickly get to the end just to make sure it is the end and then I will pause. They look like they were uh, machine gun pits or something. Slits rather. Alright, does it end? Alright, it seems to end here. So, I've walked maybe what, 120, 130 metres. I suppose you'd have to imagine this forest wasn't here. The road is beneath me and then this field's looking across at the view. Um, I might try and film that so you can have a look what it looks like. So this is the Burkhoff area. The information panel says that this is, was the retaining wall for the southern perimeter section of the Burkhoff site. Um, some of it was damaged by Allied bombing in 45, but the remain was destroyed. Um, I'm not quite sure how much more you can get above there, because it's very steep. But, but, there you go. Now, I was here yesterday. I didn't fully understand where the compound of the beer was. I might have even made a comment about it. it's very steep up there for it to build, build up there. Um, but today I went to the uh, documentation centre and saw the model. I'll show you a picture. Uh, in the middle of this video, I expect. But basically, this is a retaining wall behind the beer hof. I had visions of it in front of the beer hof for some reason. So uh, basically I'm standing where the beer hof was. So it it basically followed the line of the wall which you remember from the earlier in the video it was about 130 meters. So it went in a vague um, I was gonna say L shape but it kind of zigzag is probably a better way of putting it. Um, so it followed the shape of the wall, essentially. Um, these trees didn't exist. Hence there would have been a beautiful view. So I'm going to try and see if I can see the view now. So that's the concrete wall. And this is what view is left.
So there's a, a bit of a golf course below me. Uh, annoyingly, you can't see any more peaks. Now the ground is littered with bits and pieces of brick and concrete, bits of wall. Looks like a wall that's been removed a bit too much. And there's some very flat looking concrete there, so I don't know what that is. Um, but now this bit seems to be still in situ. So that brickwork is pretty much where it was 70 odd, 80 years ago. Um, and I notice you've even got the damp course. See the black? That's still in place. So, uh, this might have been some sort of stairs up to the level of the Birkhoff. Is that, is that a fascia as well? Yeah, so it looks like a corner. Okay, the returning wall is about uh, 40 metres up the hill there. I think this looks like a rock. Um, but then as soon as you get to this bit, I'm not quite sure what that is. But there's definitely brickwork in there. And up here. So there's a retaining wall of perhaps of some sort here. I don't know what that is. Can't think of a modern reason to put it there. I was trying to think if it was the base for some um, tiles of some description. Actually, my shadow's getting in the way. So maybe this was a tiled area. Tiled path, perhaps. Okay, again. Uh, it's about 30 metres in front of the wall. Got some concrete and brickwork that hasn't moved. Damp course again. That looks like some sort of tarmac down there because of the way it's split. Um, and there's another serious piece of brickwork and cement that's in situ here. You can see the line of that edge goes straight towards there. So, and then at right angles, it goes off towards where the other bit I looked at is located, which is just about 10 meters that way. I'll be curious if I can find a diagram of the front elevation to see what was here because there was some I assume there was some sort of patio area that you would sit out on to look across the mountains there 